Welcome to Plan Watch Walk. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, why not subscribe? Today, mid late December, just before Christmas, and we're up in the Cheviots. Got a nice little, not too long a walk, but we've got a bit of a climb to go. And we're going to be looking for some remains of some Second World War bombers, which sometimes you can find, sometimes you can't. So let's see how we do. But above all, enjoy. Catch you soon. Welcome to Plan Watch Walk. You're at the home of great walking experiences. We endeavour to bring you some of the best walking around. Leaving our start point, we climb steadily to our first site. Best to use the GOS GPS nav to find the actual point. We continue climbing and traverse the ledge before peaking and our walk to West Hill. On our descent, we find our second site before concluding the walk back in the valley. The first stage of the, the walk is quite a steep climb up actually, so we can prepare. We'll be heading over there on our route. And our route's actually going to take us up ahead and moving round to the right. Getting some nice views already. So we've just got to the point in the path where it says to turn off to go and look for the uh, the wreckage. So we're going to head across here and let's see what we can find. As we come over to the waypoint on the map, we've got this small wooden post ahead of us. As we can see, it's in memory of Australian fighter sergeant Eric Lindley Brown. Oh, sorry, the vibration, it's a bit, uh, bit windy up here. If we look down, we can just see some of the wreckage at the, the base of the park. Quite moving actually. Continue back to the path and uh, on our way. So what else we can find? Well, quick sit rep. We've uh, got back on the path after visiting the, the first site. And uh, it's across the, the heather when you're coming back, so it takes a little bit out of the legs. We're now back on the path and uh, continuing on the walk. So, So that's the, the walk ahead of us, and uh, it's going well, it's going well. If you have a look at the map, right in the top right, trying to get the contours, and uh, I'm on a slight ridge here, we're going to be getting up to the summit which is currently in cloud, and then we're going to be uh, walking around here. We can just see pretty much central skiing. And just as we're talking there, it's just starting to snow. Really nice. ahead of us here. The, uh, the wind's pretty strong and underfoot. A lot of moss, a lot of heather, a lot of bog. So it's pretty zapping on, on the feet and the knees and the legs. Thank you. 
across pretty much the centre of the screen you can see West Hill, it's 770 metres. Trekking across here and you can probably hear the wind. It's pretty breezy up here these mountains. Crags that we came over. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the, uh, the wind's really got up. I'm trying to get the minute as you can see behind us. But uh, just looking up the valley here, what a beautiful view. The sun's starting to come down. It's about two o'clock, I think. So there we go. And if you can see the little white house down the valley, that's where we're going to be heading to. So this is the site of the second wreck. See some debris around. <coughs> Not a great deal, but it come down in 1940, I believe. So there's a cross with a poppy on it. So not that much further to go, really. We need to go down into the valley which is pretty much straight ahead of us and uh, on towards the end. Well that concludes the uh, the walk today. The, uh, we managed to visit the two sites which is really good. The weather hasn't been too kind. The wind up on top has just been something rotten and it's been pretty heavy underfoot so it's uh, though it's quite short it's quite a taxing walk but it's still a great walk got this far and you like what we do why not subscribe and thank you very much for everyone who's watching it really does make a huge difference and remember all of the all of the, the routing and the mapping is all available in the uh, in the website and everything and all the details are below so until the next walk once again thanks a lot and bye for now